Hey guys and welcome back to my 36 week pregnancy update. I'm officially in my ninth month of pregnancy and things are really really starting to take their toll. I feel pregnant, like everything takes so much more effort. Um, I'm really slow at walking now, exercising is difficult. I still do it but I'd rather just do nothing in my day. Just everyday tasks feel like they take much more effort like if something falls on the ground it's just gonna stay there I cannot be bothered to pick it up as we're in the ninth month we're sort of like coming into like crunch mode and there's so many things that we still need to do like putting our crib together they're the railings I think you might be able to see them in the back we've just put our pram together today and I am exhausted so today we had our obstetrician appointment for 36 weeks so today was our last appointment at two week intervals our obstetrician appointments are now going to be every week because this is the last month of pregnancy so I have three appointments prior to my due date um, which is like what I remember like being so excited and now I feel like there's no time left but I'm ready for him to come so again at all my obstetrician appointments I have we have a quick ultrasound baby looked fine he is now instead of being in a posterior position looking outwards he's now laying on his side with his feet um, coming or always kicking out to my the left upper left rib um, side of my belly which is lovely um, so that's good he's also looking head down so he's not engaged but he's down there which is good because it was always a concern that I would have to just have a cesarean because he was in the posterior position and if he didn't move during labour then definitely it would, it would be going down the path of a c-section but so far so good it doesn't look like that's necessarily necessary but you never know I'm sure he'll change next week because every week he's in a different position so we'll just see how they go so in terms of weight um, I usually mention this on my blog, but we'll just talk about it here anyway. So since my last appointment two weeks ago, where I only put on 100 grams, I've now put on an additional 900 grams, which is about 1.9 pounds. Um, so that brings my total weight gain to 11 kilos or 24 pounds, um, which is fine, I guess. It's just par for the course. You just got to accept it. It is what it is. Um, but I do feel heavy this week like I really feel I feel pregnant which is probably also why everything else feels so difficult so if you watched my last update um, I did touch on the fact that we were going to be having a growth scan this week just to make sure baby was growing because at 30 weeks so six weeks ago at our first growth scan he was only measuring in the 20th percentile and I think his weight from memory was about 1.5 kilos so we did that today so we had our second growth scan today um, this has sort of sent my day into like a crazy frenzy as well but basically we did the scan we couldn't get any good pictures of him because he's of where he's positioned and he always has his hands in front of his face so we couldn't see anything but we did get a picture of his foot um, I'll insert it here or it'll be on my blog um, in terms of the growth scan he still had great blood flow through the umbilical cord his fluid levels looked fantastic there was you know enough fluid around the baby that that wasn't a concern but um, we did find out that he does weigh approximately 2.4 kilos so that has brought his percentile reading down to the 12th so from he was in the 20th he's now down to the 12th um, we did ask our ultrasound technician whether she thought that was anything to be concerned about because in our last obstetrician appointment we were told that anywhere from the 10th percentile down to like anything lower is generally cause for concern for obstetricians um, but being so close to that to that percent now um, you know was a little bit worrying but she reassured us that it's still fine it's still in the normal average um, range for babies at, you know so we just were like okay no problem we'll just get our proper result from our obstetrician at our next week's um, at our next week appointment well that was the plan anyway sorry I'm still getting over a bit of a sore throat um, so I apologize if you can't 
hear me very well or it sounds croaky or I'm soft. I have a sore throat, so I do apologize. Um, anyways, so the thought was we'll get that report next week. Got home, I got a call from my obstetrician saying that she had read over the report and had a look at all the pictures from the ultrasound and she was a little bit concerned that the fact that he's now gone down in placenta, so like I said 20th to the 12th, um, and obviously it's something that she wants to monitor. She did say she was concerned in any way because like I said there was good blood flow, plenty of fluid, but she wants to now be even more cautious which I'm fine with. I'd rather have him checked and monitored and just make sure that nothing is, is wrong. So she's given us a plan. And I have it written here. So from now on until my due date, this is the plan so far. Obviously this can change depending on how he goes. But basically each week I now have to have an obstetrician appointment. Um, at every... So say for example that's on a Wednesday. On a Monday, I'm going to have to have an ultrasound to check fluid and growth just to make sure that he's still putting on weight because he's where he's sitting now on the 12th at 2.4 kilos, he's only put on 900 grams in the last six weeks. Um, so he's definitely putting on weight, but it's just not a lot. I guess most babies put on a lot of weight in the third trimester. Um, unfortunately, I'm just the one putting on the weight. And third, we need to do a TCG trace, so where they strap you around, strap your belly with the two bands and monitor baby's movements and contractions and his heartbeat during those contractions. And we need to do that every week, so say for example on a Friday um, at our hospital that we're planning to deliver at. And, you know, she wants him staggered to give us more of like a range of readings. So that's going to be happening every week. Um, she also did inform us that she doesn't want us going past our due date. So it's most likely if I haven't had him on or around our due date, like it will take a couple of days, um, I will definitely be induced. Um, but between now and then, I mean, if he's not growing or putting on the weight that he should be, um, you know, the chances are it could be induced even earlier. He may decide to grace us with his presence on his own even earlier. Um, but either way, um, if he doesn't come between now and a couple days after my due date, I'll be induced. So that was a bit of a shock to get that sort of information because I just assumed, oh, everything is fine, going off what the technician had said to us during our ultrasound. But you never really know. And like I said, I'd rather be more cautious, same as my obstetrician, be more cautious than just sort of let it go and you know, it's better to be safer than sorry. So definitely checking is probably the best thing to do. So I'll keep you guys updated. What I plan to do is now that I'm having lots of scans and lots of appointments each week, I think it would be beneficial if I can fit it in to do a weekly pregnancy update so you'll have one at 37 weeks 38 weeks 39 and 40 weeks so for the next month there would be or should be an update um, in accordance because I feel like if I leave it for two weeks like I have been doing um, there should probably just be too much information and the videos will probably be like an hour long because I know I ramble again I apologize for my croaky voice so that's where we're at with baby, um, and as and as I did mention, I am in the ninth month of my pregnancy, so things are starting to get into gear, kick it into gear, needing to be done, I guess. Um, as you can see, and as I've mentioned, we've put together our pram. I absolutely love it. I'm oh, I cannot wait to use it. I just want to go outside and push it around. The other thing that I'm starting to do, apart from putting nursery items together, is getting together my hospital bag. And I've watched so many YouTube videos and read what to bring to my hospital from my hospital. I've read different like pamphlets and I guess everyone is different. So for me personally, we don't really need to bring nappies and wipes for baby to the hospital. That stuff's all provided. So I'm just trying to work out what's essential, what I would like to have, you know, what you know, as a first time mum, you probably want to overpack. I see a lot of people saying that they do overpack and a lot of people say that they don't actually use half the stuff they bring, which if 
you're anything like me when I go on holidays I do overpack and don't use anything so I'm assuming I'm going to be exactly the same in this situation so I'm starting to get it all together and I feel the pressure now knowing that I am having lots of scans there is the possibility of being induced sooner rather than later maybe um, so I really need to get that sorted so I've got my list of things that I need to put together and in terms of baby stuff being the last month we finally have purchased everything that we need from car seats to prams to um, rockers, swings, baby carriers for baby wearing, like we've got it all down. Um, I think we've got it all. Yes. I'm just waiting for a few little orders like bedding, like fitted sheets for the mattress and different things like that. But other than that, it's all done. It just needs to be put together. So I feel like I'm in rush mode. So that's it guys. That is my 36 week pregnancy update. I will of course as always finish on the bump shots because my belly, I definitely feel like it's grown a lot in the last two weeks. So it's, actually it, it has. So my last obstetrician appointment, um, my belly was measuring 33 centimeters at 34 weeks. At 36 weeks now I'm measuring exactly 36 centimeters. So there's definitely been some growing but anyways, I will show you without further ado. So this is my belly at 36 weeks. 